Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Village. Uh, we've emerged from Lady Dimitrisk's castle with a flask containing the head of Ethan's daughter. But it sounds like she's going to get better, so let's focus on the positives. Uh, we got a lot of new avenues opening up to us in the village, so we're going to follow the Duke's advice and take a look around. Cover some new ground. Ooh, ooh. I love how detailed the decor of all the houses in the village are. Oh, damn, that's great. I heard a scream. Oh, wait, I should turn this off. <laughs> I heard a scream from the house with the chimney. I was going to take a look, but the way was blocked by debris. Gonna have to take the long way around. Who would have thought the hole in the stable walls would come in handy? If I'm not back by morning, you should go to Louise's house alone. Signed, Father. Can we... maybe infer whose house this is from that? I mean, we don't really know too many of the other characters by name. Ooh, is that a loom? Ooh, yeah, it is. That's really nice looking, too. Like, that's incredibly finely detailed. Holy shit. Oop, hello. No? Okay. And a wooden animal body. Oh, this is combinable. So, do we find anything, like, in the hollow? No. Uh, Eurothug4000 has a really good video about, uh, this, like, the game and its Eastern European village influences. Uh, and one of the really cool parts about it is that she spent a lot of time, um, growing up in Serbia with her grandmother, uh, in her village. So she has this, this great unique perspective on the authenticity of, of Resident Evil 8's village. Okay, that's someone tearing ass through the house. Heard the door and, I think, a window break. Maybe I just bolted out the back. Uh, and she actually has a lot, a lot of praise for the details that went into this. Like, uh, it, Capcom evidently did a really good job. It's just wonderful hearing her talk about how she... Uh, remembers all of these different things from, like, the types of stovetops and cooking pots uh, to, like, yeah, the outhouses here. <laughs> uh, the types of lace curtains, the handmade lace curtains that are really common there. Uh, all the orthodox Christian imagery, which is very similar to uh, what we've been seeing with uh, how... There you are. How Mother Miranda is depicted. Especially in those photos that we that we were noticing early on. Okay, we're good. And that's kind of why finding that loom was so cool. Because they actually did their homework and thought about it. Like... Yeah, they could go into town to do clothes shopping, but if they're too remote, or if they don't have the money, or if they just don't want to... Handmade textiles are really important in village culture. It's just such a cool detail to see. What is this doing here? Just a cute little stuffed monkey rocking away in the pram. I was kind of expecting this to pop off a lot more after the werewolves or whatever tearing ass through the house earlier. They're still building the tension a little bit. And we still have nothing for these wells. That's driving me crazy that we still haven't found anything for them. Hmm. 
What do I hear creaking? Uh, is there anything up? Oh, it's another one of these. Oh, right, 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 right. Um, but when we found that last, the first uh, bird cage in the castle outside, it was making the same sound. So that's just there. The tell that they're around. Okay. This, the fact that this is so wide open is making me tense because it, you can kind of feel that there's a fight about to happen. I feel like. What am I looking at? That's something like surgically implanted into somebody's back? Look out the window. Okie dokie. 0704. Oh! Son of a bitch! That's so good! So <laughs> ah, they got me. This is why I don't understand people who call jump scares cheap. Like, I've already talked at length in other horror LPs. Um. Oh, this is six digits. Okay, so 0704. Ah, there it is. 08. Oh, and this is really cleverly placed and designed uh, because you can't ever get these out of order. You can only see all three of them at a time if you have them in the right order. Ah, that's cool. I did lose my train of thought, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, jump scares. I talked it at length... Um, about why I think they're good for, like, just actual effective horror. They, they're they the crowbar that pries you open a little bit and lets some of the more psychological stuff seep in and unsettle you. It keeps you paranoid and tense and on your guard. But even beyond that, like, I kind of just treat it like a prank as well. And it's like, ah, you got me. The devs got me. And that's fun. I don't understand people who are like, who are upset by jump scares, who don't like, who, who think games are worse off for having them. Oh, I see you. Oh, I did not see them. <laughs> ah, I should have nudged that left a little tiny bit. Okay, at least this is a... Is there another one behind me? Is this 4v1? No. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. That went about as well as it possibly could have. And Village has... And again, I'm going to credit this partially to having better enemies, but it has a has way better gunplay than 7, which makes sense since uh, the balance does tilt a little bit more towards action in this one. All right, and this, this does was, uh, what for us? Let's just crawl under. Okay. That sounded like the big boy, who we haven't seen yeah. since the opening. Um, the the big hairy one with the hammer. Sounds like there are a few behind me, but... Oh no, just coming down the lane. Ooh. Ooh -ooh. That's satisfying. That's incredibly satisfying. Oh, wait. Have we been here before? Have we looped back around to an earlier area? No, 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 no. It's just that the hanging severed goat heads are familiar from something early on. Uh, so I think the way behind us is the way forward, so I'm going to check this dead end out.
What do we got? So far, nothing, huh? Just everything around here makes you think you're about to be attacked. I kind of was attacked. We still have nothing to do with this meat. So we've just been walking around with an attache case full of like raw chicken and raw, and raw pork. Oh, and, and oh, add some, some raw fish in there, too. Just... Oh, it's going to be so bad. <laughs> Please let us cook this soon. <laughs> God, I got raw chicken all over my sniper rifle. This is my secret technique. Salmonella shot. <laughs> We're gonna kill werewolves with the power of botulism. <laughs> oh, back up. You did a little double dash forward. Oh, for a second, it sounded like there was one behind me. Now we're good. I'm still not 100% sure what we're about to accomplish coming through here. I'm really not curious bad. to see how this pays off. I feel like every time they give me a pipe bomb, that's an indication that I'm about to get swarmed. Oh, I heard that. Oh, how? What? That looks like a Garador from before. that there are no bells around here. Okay. So, the only part of him that's unarmored is his arms and his torso. I'm wondering if I can shoot the armor off of his face. Or if that's even worth doing. Yeah, they even have the claws like uh, the Garadors did. Holy shit. Jesus. This is a beefy lad. This is getting really bad, actually. Boom! Okay, these new enemies are a problem. Fuck. They're fast, too. That did it. Okay. Come on. Really? Really, sir? He's shrugging ev- Oh, there he goes. Good God, that was an ammo dump. One shotgun shell, three sniper rounds, three handgun bullets, um, and a pipe bomb. And maybe I would have had more success with that pipe bomb. Uh, in all likelihood, now that I think about it, that is why they gave that to me. I think I recognize this. The lock uh, due to the homeowner being missing. Yeah, I think the first time we were here, I just didn't have a knife or anything yet to break that? Maybe? <sighs> Is 
Is that right? <laughs> to whom it may concern, due to Luthier's long absence, I'm keeping hold of his house key. Please find me if you need it. Regards, Yosef Simon, Beneviento's gardener. Beneviento is one of the lords, right? It was Beneviento Moreau? Lady Dimitrescu and uh, Heisenberg. Hey, finally another lockpick. There's a couple of things we could use that on. Oh, hello. Shit, I thought that was something else. Oh, I was worried it was another one of the uh, armored ones. We're gonna save on ammo a little bit right now. I could craft some more, but I Oop, a little janky. Oh my god! Oh! He has way more health left than I thought he did. And now I kind of have the sunk cost thing going. Because I'm like, well, if I start shooting him now, then it was pointless to have used the knife all this time. <laughs> That's the way you end up committing to things that you know are mistakes. <laughs> Yeah, craft ammo. I know. I can I know I can do it. I'm just going to wait until I have to to do it. Okay, so now we have two combinables. But still no closer to an answer about what we are doing here exactly. That, I'm assuming, is what this is for, though. The Iron Insignia Key. I want to say this is one of the last gates that requires that key in the village. At least off the top of my head. Well, well, well. If it isn't the wheel of my own well... <laughs> Finally, finally, we can see what this well wheel is about. What do the wells of this village hide? What secrets do they contain? Uh, and so from here, we should actually be able to get out back into the central plaza of the village. Uh, where the Maiden Boar statue is. This way. Assuming we can open that blue gate from this side... Sheegans! We have to leave one of them alive so we can run my real estate business. Oh, more, more nuggets. Please. Come to Camarocho with me. You can travel in my attache case full of guns, ammo, and raw meat. Doesn't that sound fun? Wait, did I get... Did I get poultry for that? I don't think I did. Because I, I think I should have six, right? We killed three chickens in the graveyard, didn't we? And then three here. I heard the noise, I saw the body disappear, but I didn't see the thing that said we we actually got something in our inventory. I think I just got screwed out of some chicken. Well, that's a bummer. So aside from the chicken chase, this seems entirely too quiet. I'm kind of shocked.
Hey, we finally made it to the house with the red chimney. We can't quite make it to the other side of the roof. We're a little obstructed. Uh, but it looks like we can drop down inside. Hello. Can I get this just right? It's going to be a little hard. Ah. It was a little hard because his, his uh, shoulder blades were in the way. His upper back. February 1st, sacrifice two goats to Mother Miranda. February 3rd, offered wool to Mother Miranda. She instructed I find her a list of drugs and tools in the next few days. What for, I wonder? February 8th. No messages from Mother Miranda, yet the livestock won't stop their ruckus. February 9th, I was instructed to take the items to the cave church at sunrise, but what I saw was frightful. The great four lords were there, and Mother Miranda was holding a child. She whispered something and touched the child. I can't explain it well, but the child turned into a white crystal. Then she... Uh, I couldn't help but speak up, and I asked her why she did such a thing. Mother Miranda just smiled at me. This is the chosen child. She will return to her original form no matter what befalls her. Then she gave each lord a part of the crystal in a flask, and they left. I forgot to bow to Mother Miranda before I fled. I'm still shaking. What did she do? What is that child? The winged key is just a single piece. Three more parts are needed to make it whole. Ah, oh, okay. Wait. Huh? I can examine it, but not pick it up. Combined with the winged key. Oh, okay. Four winged key. Okay, that's how Damn I get it. into... Better see the duke again. The two gates either side of the duke. Okay. So that's why we came into this remote part of the village. And can we get any bonuses? A, a decent amount of handgun ammo. That'll help top us off. Top us up, um, after... <laughs> That I I don't know its name, so I'm just gonna call it a Garador. It doesn't look like much else. So yeah, I think we should probably head back to the Duke, unless there's something that I'm forgetting about. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I was thinking of the other house at the, uh, at the opposite end of uh, the plaza. Uh, it's up here through the red gate. How was it? Did you learn anything? I found these feathers. Now tell me how to fix this like you said you would. Settle down. First, you must use that key and collect all of your little roses flasks. Where are the rest of them? There are four in total. You have the one, and the other lords have the rest. Lords? Mother Miranda is the cold, calculating ruler of this village. Four lords serve under her. The first you've already met, the Lady Demitresque. The second lives deep in a valley of mist, the dollmaker, Donna Beneviento. None of her playmates have ever come back from that dank old estate. The third is Moreau, a being of twisted flesh that lives in the reservoir past the windmills. It is said that he is not the only monster that lives in those waters. 
The fourth and most dangerous is Heisenberg. He works in his factory on the village outskirts. And the project. Let's just say parts of the human imagination are better left alone. Ooh. Did we just get a treasure map for the whole village? If you truly wish to save your daughter, you must first gather the four flasks. I'll do you a personal favor. I've marked the Lord's locations on your map. Some treasures still lurk in this village. I'm sure each one will prove of great use to you. Why are you doing all this? Why, it's all part of our first-class customer service. What does that mean? Please do come again soon. Who is the Duke? Ah, yes, yeah. Ah, yes, I have you. There it Find is. some quality ingredients and bring them to me. Okay. Health slightly increases permanently. Damage taken when guarding decreases. Health increases. Health greatly increases. Uh, damage taken when guarding decreases. And movement speed increases. So the ones that I think are probably best to prioritize uh, are the blocking ones. And then movement speed and then health. But I don't have any of the types of meat that I need, I We've think, for the, all the ingredients. Uh, for the movement speed one. Now. But we can enjoy... <laughs> <laughs> we can enjoy some beast. What was the beef and beast pilaf? Apologies for the way. Bird and beast pilaf. Share. To think such a dish could be had in this winterbound frontier. Then we have almost enough for this too. Mm hmm. Oh, it looks like. I've gotten some new stock. That's really cool. You can deposit your meat. Your coin. God, that's a bad sentence. Whatever. You can deposit your meat so it's not in your attache case. Gathering slime and botulism. I see. Um, and coating all of your, your stuff and taking up space. That's lovely. Okay, so we need a head for the doll and a head for the goat. Mm. New upgrades available. That's really nice. Make my bullets go a little bit further. Uh -huh. The value of the bullets, I mean. Uh -huh. And we're about out of money. I've procured some new items for you, Mr. Winters. Oh, you know what? Since I have the M1911 I now, I can just sell this. A farewell to R. Oh, we can buy a new scope for the rifle. Further magnification, that sounds really good. And then once I have a little bit more lay, we can get that next level of uh of attache case space upgrade. Alright, I think that's gonna do it for today. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.